you know, something just happened again. Yeah, I'm coming here because, you know, the uh, like I said at the other store, they ran out of products on, you know, on purpose. But anyway, so uh, I don't know if it was a nigga, but somebody just drove by right. And one of them loud ass must, I'm talking about loud. You can hear them way up there. I guess it was a GT, but it ain't got, maybe it wasn't a GT because it, it ain't had that deep row. He ain't got them dogs, them pipes. Like, so anyway, my point is, see all this stuff you cause to draw attention to yourself. Again, what I'm, what I'm yapping about this time is when I was a teenager, we knew there were laws and I knew the laws about noise pollution. So I knew it wasn't just if you got subs in your car, they could pull you over. They could pull you over if you got your factory radio because there's a law of how far they, if they can hear it, like if your car right there and they hear it, they could, they could, that's the reason. And this was when I was a teenager. We knew that. So that's why, you know, niggas, that's why they came up with new things on radios, buttons that you could push real fast when you see the, seriously, they can't, the companies would start making them Alpine buttons that you could push real fast and cut down your stereo so you won't get it because those are laws in every city every state about noise pollution that's what you gotta you just you know so you hear me riding one of the loud stairs see he just don't care no you don't know us most of us know that's why you always that's why you never get pulled over because you're always looking for the police anyway that's just a ticket you ain't got money to be given to the city must i don't know where they keep coming up with this we getting hunting down shit you know they hunting us down. i don't know no niggas that been hunted down and shot and beat you know, period, none. So, but uh, you know, he just drove by with them pipes, and I don't know about that. You know, cause they're the pipes, they're the, they're the loud. So, but I'm talking about radios. But I don't know if they got, you know, they call them white women Karens. I ain't talking about calling the police. I'm what I'm saying. I wouldn't drive in that car. I would never drive in a car with. I, I like pipes, but I wouldn't get them that loud. This was way since I was, a, you know, since they came up with them little cars. What they call it, the the Fast and the Furious crowd, the ricers, you know, with them loud pipes sound like a lawnmower. I'm like, I wouldn't ride in that shit because that's, I don't know, I, I'm too paranoid. And this is way before this. This is like 20 years, 2002, two, when they first started coming out with that shit. You know, them four cylinders with the loud. I'm like, no, if I'm a, I'm, I got to have a big Chevy, <laughs> you know, with some pipes on it, some real pipes with some bass, not no you know, but I'm not gonna have it so loud that it draws attention that I might get pulled over. That's what they're not teaching these kids about just avoiding the fucking police. They did. It's like they're setting them up. When I, like I said, when I was growing up, everything was about just staying out them folks' face, staying out the police face. Now it's just oh, you you got to prove that you getting in them folks. They humans just like you getting in their face. I ain't on their side. But everything about, like I said, before we leave, it's almost like you're having a huddle up with your homies. You know, nobody going to fuck up. You know, it's, it's Friday night. You know, you know, you know you're driving straight. You ain't, you ain't out there acting a fool. You ain't going to catch a public intoxication. None of that. You, you know, you, you don't want to be that dude that fuck up the whole crew. You know, fuck up. That's what I'm saying. But anyway, I had to get this out of this thought off. For y'all, before I forget about it, because he just came by, like, I mean, loud. <laughs> See, a spoiled, this spoiled brat, bread, shit like that, just, bread. I would never have done that. Yo, I, I'm, fuck, I ain't got money to be giving away to the city. If that's the case, you might as well just donate money to the city instead of getting points on your license and your insurance going up. Just donate money to the city.